Hi, my name is Scott McLean from TranceMusicMastery.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a trance music pluck sound like the one heard in Cosmic Gate's Barra. The sound we're going to make sounds like this. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with the ROM A127 init patch on the Access Virus, which sounds like... Okay, I like to tweak the init patch a bit by setting the shape to a sine wave. So to do that, let's first isolate oscillator 1 so that we only hear oscillator 1. You can do that on the Virus by changing the oscillator balance to minus 100%. We're going to change the shape to spectral wave and we're going to change the wave select to sine. Now we have a basically just a sine wave patch. I'm also going to adjust the amplifier envelope parameters. I'm going to set the attack to 27 just to get rid of that click sound at the beginning. Decay to 68, or about roughly halfway up. Sustain, I'm going to set that to about 85, 85.2. It doesn't have to be exact, just, just in the right ball, and just in the ballpark. And then release, I'm going to set that to 34. The only reason I do this is just to allow me to hear the pitch more clearly uh, when I'm trying to figure out what notes are being played. So now we're going to look at the notes. F-sharp, A-sharp, B, F-sharp. That's the sequence, and they're played in the fourth octave. So we need to set transpose to plus one. Now, the sound itself, the timbre of the sound... Um, does have a saw-like quality in it, so we're going to change the shape of oscillator 1 uh, by adding a, some saw wave. We're going to blend the sine and the saw wave together. So as we do that, I'll play it. And that's about a 71% saw mixed in at 71% with the sine wave. Okay, now let's look at adjusting the amplifier envelope to give us that characteristic pluck envelope. This is kind of, uh, there's a still a bit of release there that you wouldn't normally um, associate with a pluck. So I'm going to set release to zero. I'm going to set sustain to zero. And I'm going to lower the decay to about 30. Just to give it a more short envelope. Okay. So now let's add the delay. And to assist with that, I'm going to uh, set up my MIDI clip so that it has these notes in it. Basically the sequence F sharp, A sharp, B, F sharp. Okay, now this MIDI clip is eight bars long, so this, those four notes will repeat every eight bars. And we want to go ahead and adjust the delay effect. So we're going to hit edit. We're going to set the send to minus two. And select the next page. And we're going to set our mode to ping pong to one and clock to one quarter and now it's just a matter of setting the feedback to get the delay effect to sustain across the eight bar sequence so I'm going to stop this we're going to set the feedback to about halfway see how far that takes us let me go ahead and play the 
MIDI clip. That took us about eight, four bars. So let's go up to, I'm going to stop it again. Let's go up to about 90. I find that 93% seems to get us across eight bars. Try playing the MIDI clip again. That sounds about right. So the last thing we can do is tweak the filter envelope. So let's set filter balance to minus 64 so that we're only using filter 1. Set the envelope amount to 100%. This allows us to modulate the filter, uh, filter cutoff with the attack, decay, sustain, and release envelope. Set attack to 0. Set decay to 13. Sustain to 0. And release to 0. And we're going to make sure that the resonance is 0. And we're going to bring the filter 1 cutoff down to about 92. And that's about it. So if you'd like to learn more, please visit transmusicmastery.com.